Tree vs. Photobioreactor, A Sustainable Future Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. The comparison between traditional trees and innovative photobioreactors when it comes to building a sustainable future. As we strive to combat climate change and find ways to reduce our carbon footprint, it's essential to explore alternative methods of carbon sequestration. Let's dive into the discussion. Before we begin, let's quickly understand the roles that trees and photobioreactors play in mitigating climate change and promoting a sustainable environment. The Power of Trees Trees have been nature's carbon capture champions for centuries. They absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis, converting it into oxygen and storing carbon in their biomass. They provide numerous benefits, including improved air quality, biodiversity support, and soil stabilization. However, there are some limitations to relying solely on trees for carbon sequestration. They require vast amounts of space and long periods to grow, making them less efficient for combating rapid climate change. Introducing photobioreactors. This brings us to the photobioreactor, a fascinating technology that offers an alternative solution for carbon sequestration. A photobioreactor is a closed system that cultivates photosynthetic microorganisms, such as algae or cyanobacteria, to absorb CO2 and produce biomass. Unlike trees, photobioreactors have a much higher photosynthetic efficiency and can sequester carbon at a faster rate. They can be deployed in urban areas, using minimal space, and can be designed to optimize growth conditions. Additionally, the biomass produced by photobioreactors can be used for various purposes, such as biofuels or bio-based products. Comparing the pros and cons. Now, let's compare the advantages and disadvantages of trees and photobioreactors, keeping the future in mind. Trees have an established ecosystem value, provide habitat for wildlife, and offer aesthetic benefits. They also have a low carbon footprint and require minimal maintenance once they are mature. However, as mentioned earlier, they have limitations in terms of growth rate and space requirements. On the other hand, photobioreactors can be more efficient in carbon sequestration, especially in densely populated areas. They can be integrated into buildings and infrastructure, maximizing their impact. However, they require energy for operation and maintenance and may face challenges related to scaling up the technology. Synergy and Coexistence Rather than viewing trees and photobioreactors as competing solutions, it's important to recognize the potential synergy between them. Both approaches have their strengths and can complement each other in building a sustainable future. By combining the use of trees and photobioreactors strategically, we can create a balanced approach to carbon sequestration. Trees can continue to thrive in open spaces, providing their established benefits, while photobioreactors can be strategically placed in urban areas to maximize carbon capture efficiency. Conclusion and Call to Action In conclusion, trees and photobioreactors both have significant roles to play in our journey towards a sustainable future. It's crucial to explore and invest in various solutions, leveraging the strengths of both approaches. As individuals, we can contribute to this effort by planting trees, supporting organizations that promote sustainable forestry, and advocating for the integration of photobioreactors in urban planning and infrastructure projects. Remember, the future depends on our collective actions. Let's embrace innovation and work together towards a greener and more sustainable planet. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this comparison between trees and photobioreactors enlightening. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. We'd also love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Which approach do you think holds more promise for a sustainable future, trees, photobioreactors, or a combination of both? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.